How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. Today I'm going to go over Crit Draw Bow, a build for bows that relies on spamming everyone's favorite attack, Dragon Pierce. It's a very simple and albeit at times boring playstyle. All you do is draw into Dragon Pierce, sheath, rinse and repeat. It's not the best DPS build for sure, but it does work great online since you don't always have access to a monster's face, but you can just Dragon Pierce right through their body to get where you need to go. Online play also gives you a lot of wiggle room to walk around and charge Dragon Pierce. Once the monster attacks an ally, you usually have a good enough opening to get off of Dragon Pierce in time. I love the sound of Dragon Pierce, and seeing all the numbers fly up into hundreds just feels really good, so I get some enjoyment out of it for sure. Crit draw shouldn't run out of power coatings either since you have 50 to 70 Dragon Pierce shots to use. That should do just fine online unless people aren't pulling the weight or you're missing too many shots. It works alright solo as long as you have your cat on hand, or against something like Uragon, Basil Juice, Radabon, and Anjanath, but I wouldn't consider it meta or any DPS driven set by any means. It's just good old fun. Alright, let's move on to how it works. Crit draw works by making the first draw attack you do always crit, assuming you're not into negative affinities. For bows, it works simply by holding the R2 charge from Chief, and then pressing the triangle and circle to go into Dragon Pierce. If the Dragon Pierce hits, every single hit will get the effects of critical draw, so you can see all those big numbers light up. Now keep in mind that you need to resheath your weapon each time you fire it to make use of critical draw, which is why I also use quick sheath talisman, because it grants the full 3 of 3 quick sheath skill. Another skill that you could use is punishing draw, which adds KO values and slightly strengthens draw attacks. I don't have access to punish draw right now, so I don't have it on, but I definitely would if I could. Now outside those three skills, you're basically going to be looking into other skills to increase your Dragon Pierce damage. Special Shot Boost is 20% more damage on Dragon Pierce, and Pierce Up is another 10%, so these skills are a huge help. Crit Boost is also a no-brainer, because you're going to be critting the entire time, so it's helpful damage, but it can be kind of hard to fit in a set. Now one thing about Dragon Pierce that you may or may not know by now, is that you can shoot outside your targeting angle. If you let go of the aim while it's charging up, you can move the camera freely. Then if you tap aim right before it releases, you'll shoot where your camera is now pointing. You have almost a half a second to do so, so there's plenty of time. And this skill is great for maximizing Dragon Pierce, as monsters that like to jump like Nier Gigante, Teostra, or just move fast like Rathalos can cause you to miss a lot of shots. This way, you can shoot some crazy wacky angles and start doing trick shots with Dragon Pierce. For a bow to use with Crit Draw, I either use Diabolus' bow or Val's bow. Diabolus has negative affinity, but I counter that with Expert Jewels, so it's not that bad. And Val bow is strong and has extra slots, which is very helpful for bows. You can use any bow with it to be honest, but to make the most of crit draw and elemental bows, you need to squeeze in elemental crit somewhere. Azure Rathalos headgear and waist should be a solid option there, because that would give you critical boost 1, pierce up, and crit element. For reference, here's the set I use when I'm playing crit draw Diabolus bow. By no means is it the best, I still have a lot of decoration farming to do, and some min-maxing to do. The skills are pretty self-explanatory based upon what I've told you. There's room to play around with elemental gems and crit stuff for sure, and here's what it looks like slightly modified with crit element to work with elemental bows. You can squeeze in one point of weakness exploit onto it to help with Diablos or Anjanath's negative affinity. And from there you can just decorate it to your heart's content. Overall, I definitely like this build. A couple of people in the bow channel on the Monster Hunter Discord were wondering if it worked out, and I wanted to show that it does, but again, it's not like DPS King or anything. It's just a different way to play bow. Anyway, thanks for watching people, and I'll see you guys next time.